time for Nerdgasm. Hey, what's up guys? Jerry here, AKA Barnacles, and I think it's about time we did another episode of Jerry Rigged. So just do it! For this episode, we're actually gonna take the cardboard box that my LG G4 came in and turn it into a desktop sink and charging station. That sounds pretty amazing, doesn't it? Now, I first got the idea when one of my followers on Twitter actually posted a picture of his docking station that he made out of cardboard, and I was like, man, that is freaking brilliant. So we're gonna go ahead and try to attempt to duplicate his success and do something a little different. Now for this project, you're gonna of course need your phone case. It probably doesn't have to be the LG G4 box. I'm thinking any box the cell phone will fit into will probably have sufficient material to do this. You will also need a pair of scissors. You will probably need a ruler. I recommend having a pen knife or razor blade or box cutter or shiv or bat knife. Although, let's be honest, bat knife is pretty dull. If we try to use this on this project, I will probably lose a finger. And get tetanus. And a sharpie, preferably purple. You will also need a compatible sinking charge cable, whether it be USB or lightning port, and maybe even an AC adapter if you want to plug it into the wall. And of course, last but not least, it would not be a jerry-rigged unless you had the hot glue gun. All right guys, well I have all my tools and supplies set up here. The only addition that I've made is I added a rotary cutting mat, which is just giving me a surface to basically lay cardboard down on and cut on it. And I don't have to worry about damaging my desk surface. I highly recommend that you do it. And if you don't have one, just use a piece of cardboard. Now, some of you guys might be asking why I don't just 3D print a cradle and docking station for my cell phone. Cause I have a ton of 3D printers, why not? Well, the reason being is this wouldn't be a very good jerry-rigged episode if I just downloaded a file, hit the print button and had some Thing sitting on my desk. And the second reason is I think it is horribly funny and ironic that I am taking the LG G4 box that the phone came into and turning it into a cradle and docking station. Who knows? Maybe this will pioneer the way for cell phone manufacturers to actually just start shipping their phones in convertible cradle boxes. Hey, LG, Apple, you guys listening? Okay, so the first thing is we should probably figure out what materials we have to work with here. So let's go ahead and open up the LG G4 box. You can see inside it has some of this thin little cardboard um, that it used to shape the box for holding the phone. I honestly don't think we're gonna be using that. And also, if you guys watch the LG G4 unboxing, I did punch a hole through the box with bat knife, but that's okay, I think it just gives it character. Okay, so just putting these boxes together, I can see right now that one box fits inside of the other box because obviously they need to close. So if I was to do something like at an angle, kind of like this, and let's see, put the phone in there. So I could use this as kind of a back to the phone. I actually think that design would work pretty well. And it also does elevate it well up above the desk. So it'll clear my keyboard and anything else I have sitting in front of it. Okay, so getting straight to work here, I wanna see what kind of angle I wanna have the phone at. I think that that probably is a good angle, just like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over, put it at the angle that I want it at, and I'm just gonna take the marker and just draw a line. Just like that. And don't worry, I'm probably gonna paint it later, so I'm gonna mark this whole thing up. Okay, so now I wanna get that same angle as I have right here on the other side. So to do that, we're just gonna use our little ruler here. And guys, I'm just kinda learning as I go here, so we might make a lot of mistakes. Doesn't have to be perfect, this is jerry-rigged. Good enough. All right, so now that we have our marks here, let's go ahead and cut that little bit out. What I want to do actually is I just want to cut the bottom out of the box because I'm hoping to feed these down through the holes and use them as my glue point. Cut, cut, cut. Cut, cut, cut. Okay, and now we have that. And then I want to fold these on those lines. I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna be really hard to fold, guys. Maybe if I crease it. Now you can see right there, I just used the ruler um, to make a little crease to see if I can get it to bend on that crease. And it looks like it actually worked. I'm gonna go ahead and bend it in just a little bit. It's starting to tear a little right there. So I just wanna be careful. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. I'm just gonna crease it. Just like so. 
that actually works pretty good. Wow, it's kind of like we're doing a little bit of origami here. You can kind of see how these two little guys bend in. Hopefully it'll make a, uh, sense in a second why I did this. So now if you set this thing down on a desk like this, you already have the angle to set your phone on. All right, I'm kind of making this up as I go along, so hopefully it works, guys. Okay, so now we're back to the big box. So if you want to put this up on top towards the front here, what we're going to want to do is cut a crease on both sides for that little flap to go into. So if you're watching it, I'm just going to line it up best where I want it here. You want it sitting back far enough from the edge that I have room to run the cable up. Whoa, party foul. I think that's probably good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this and I'm gonna mark the back right there. Then this side right about there. So then I got that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing just so I don't accidentally twist it. I'm gonna go ahead and just take a measurement. Looks like it's one and three quarters in the ballpark. Okay. And now I have four little dots right here and I want to cut slits down those. And I can tell looking at it, it's not symmetrical. Let me make it a little bit bigger. There we go. I'm eyeballing it. Okay, for this one I'm just going to use a pen knife and cut, cut the little slits. Okay, we're in. So you guys see, just cutting a little slit right down the side there. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side. Oh man, we're gonna need some bandages before this is over. We now have two slits cut into the box on either side. So I'm gonna go ahead and open those slits up a little bit. I'm just using the razor to eat away at some of the material. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can feed these little things down through them. I'll get in there, get in there. All right, just like that, and just like that. Now, you can see on the underside, it's sticking through on both sides. And then I have this big red flap still sticking here. I was gonna cut it off, but what I think I'm gonna do instead with this red flap is I'm actually gonna cut it across here and glue it down so that the cardboard's double the thickness right there for where I run the cable through. Cause we want that cable to be really solid and in place so it's easy to put the phone down on it. Cause if it can move around and wiggle a whole bunch, it's, it's not gonna work. Man, somehow my, my scissors got bent. Unbent, unbent, unbent. All right, so we trimmed the box. Not gonna lie, it doesn't look that pretty. Wasn't that good of a trim job. But hey, I want this to look jerry-rigged. That's my excuse. Don't cut my fingers off. Don't cut my fingers off. Please don't cut my fingers off. So, so far, this is what we have right here. We have what kind of looks like a cell phone cradle. You can see the cell phone is sitting right on it right there. That looks pretty good, right? And I apologize for the audio, guys. I'm turning my head back and forth uh, and looking at stuff while I'm talking. The shotgun microphone sometimes has trouble picking that up. I'm trying to get a lavalier mic. That's the next upgrade I'm looking for. So I think I'm confident enough at this point to glue stuff into place. It's time for hot glue gun. Hey, and I found a use for the thin material that's inside of the box. You can use it for the hot glue gun. You just set it like that so that it doesn't drip on the desk or more importantly, does not drip on your wife's cutting mat. Because if it does, then you have to sleep on the couch. Still got a little bit of extra thick cardboard too. You might have to find a use for that. All right, our hot glue gun is all good and ready to go and I didn't get any spooge on the desk. <laughs> All right, so let's flip this bad boy over and let's get it hot glued in. So now you can see these little wings down here at the bottom. I'm gonna use those as my hot glue points. I'm gonna go ahead and get pretty, pretty crazy with the hot glue because I have literally tons of it. I don't want this to ever come apart. Let's go ahead and let that set up just a little bit. Now I'm gonna flip it over, do the exact same thing to the other side. Make sure it doesn't pull through. Like this side was already starting to pull through a little bit. You do not want it to pull through. Okay, now the final thing is just to put some glue under this flap. Just like so. Get everything lined up. I love hot glue, guys. I absolutely love hot glue. It's like the best thing ever. If you guys haven't seen my other jerry-rigged videos, check them out. I use hot glue for everything. 
I even used hot glue for cable management. All right, so let's do a little test fit with the phone. So if you set the phone on there, you notice right now it just slides off. But that's gonna change when we have a cable coming up through the bottom. Let's go ahead and set that right there. So that, that looks pretty good. I like that. It's like the bulkiest docking station ever made, but still, it's cool. Okay, so now all the glue's set up, this thing's actually really solid now. So now what we have to do is figure out where to bring the USB cable up through it. And so here's the USB cable that actually came with it. It's not a very long one. You may want to use a longer cable if it didn't come with your phone, depending on how far you are away from your data port or an outlet. All right, so if I plug this into the phone right here, you can see it protrudes a little bit past the backside. It's actually a little bit thicker than the phone. Uh, but that should give me a good idea of where I need to put the hole. If I just, I'm just going to kind of eyeball it and put it up here to the side and kind of look down and I can see that the cable needs to be out a little bit. I want to get it as close as I can though because I don't want it sitting off the back of the cardboard. All right guys, for this part, I'm going to be a little bit lazy and I'm just going to put a little bit of Sharpie around the data port on the bottom of the phone and just press it down and it made a little mark. Hopefully you guys can see that. There's a little purple mark right there from the Sharpie and it perfectly outlines the USB hole. And I was able to remove the Sharpie off the bottom of the phone just using a little bit of spit and elbow grease. Okay, so now we got the basic spot where the USB hole's poking through. So I'm gonna go ahead and just outline it. All right, now I'm gonna use my little pin knife. We're gonna cut it out. And I have to go to, through two layers of cardboard now. <sighs> So it's not exactly cutting easy. Oh crap, I just ripped the blade off. Note to self, invest in better pen knife. Okay, the next step is to obtain another pen knife. Okay, I was able to find another pen knife. Uh, it looks like it's a little bit beefier than the previous one. So you can see here, I cut out my little hole that I made through the two layers of cardboard. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push, push it down in there. I'm not cutting that side on purpose, just cause I want more of an anchor to hot glue to. Because since we're working with cardboard here, it's pretty weak stuff. So we want to make sure that we have a really, really good anchor for that cable. At least, I think. So let's go and flip it over. You can see the underside doesn't look that brilliant. But that's okay. Nobody looks at that one. So this has to be facing forward. Let's go ahead and pull those out of the way. Okay, now we're just going to feed the cable up through the bottom. You can see it sticking out right there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hook the phone onto it. Just like so and I'm gonna lean the phone back. Because remember, we wanna get this at the right angle. So right now we know the phone is completely plugged in and it's sitting there and the USB cable is at the right angle. So we got a lot going for us here. Although you'll notice the phone still wants to jump back into a different position. So I need to cut away a little bit more material. Okay, so due to the curvature of the phone, I had to cut out quite a bit more material uh, than I wanted to for the hole right here, but it's okay. I can fill it in with hot glue. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run it up through here. You can see the cable. Now I'm gonna plug it into the phone, making sure everything fits. And now if you see when I set it down there, it's sitting in a pretty good position. Hopefully you guys can see that. It is rounded on the back. Uh, so it, you know, I'm relying on that connector to hold it in place. Okay, so now I'm gonna line up the phone as square as I can right here on the plate so that everything lines up and I'm just gonna carefully, carefully put a little bit of hot glue in there. Not too much, you don't wanna hot glue the phone, you wanna hot glue the cable. And I hot glued the phone a little bit. Don't worry, hot glue comes off pretty easy. All right, so there we go, I'm gonna spread it around with the knife. We're just using that little bit of hot glue to hold the cable in place so that we can remove the phone. Okay, now I'm gonna flip it over and put a little hot glue on the back side of the cable. Just a little, I don't wanna use a ton of glue right now because I wanna get the phone off first. Okay, now we're gonna let that hot glue dry good. Okay guys, we're in the home stretch. The glue is dried on the bottom and I went ahead and added some additional glue. You guys can see down here, I got pretty crazy with it because it wasn't staying. So now I'm gonna see if I can detach the phone. I'm gonna hold the USB cable, pull the phone off. There we go. And now we got our little nubbin. See the nubbin right there? That's our nubbin. So now what we wanna do is use a lot more hot glue to get that all completely secured. Just gonna do a little dab here, a little dab there, I'm gonna fill in some cracks. So we're gonna go ahead and squirt, squirt a big old blob in there, another big blob there, some more there, more there. We're going for bro. Oh, she's smoking. Oh, it's hot, ow, 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 
Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh, man, hot glue burns. Oh, that burns so bad. All right, as you can see, my beautiful job is working there. I, I might have gone a little overboard with the hot glue, but we're going to go ahead and let it set up. Surprisingly, hot glue does take a little while to cure. It like, it'll hold stuff in place almost instantly, but sometimes it can take like 15 or 20 minutes before it's like fully solidified. Okay, I figured out a pro tip. Just hover the thing in front of your air conditioner and it cures a lot faster. All right, so as you guys can clearly see, I've gone completely overboard with the hot glue and I also hot glued the cable to the case because I found that when the cable was getting reefed on, it was actually allowing this connector to move back and forth. So I went ahead and just secured that in place. And that last thing is we need a place for the cable to be able to come out of the back. So I'm just gonna go ahead and notch it out. Not like Minecraft notch, like just a notch. And since we already went completely overboard with the hot glue, we might as well do it again. Let's just go ahead and put a little, little hot glue to hold that cable in its notch. Okay, so now everything is dry and set. You can see on the back side the cable's hot glued right there. It's hot glued at the front. Everything's nice and solid and held together. And if you set it on the desk, it sits flat. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the phone on it. Just like so. And you can see right there, the phone sits straight up and down. I can take my phone off the dock. I can put my phone on the dock. Just like that. Bam! And another minor problem is, if you bump it, the phone can rock back and forth because that USB connector isn't that wide. So it doesn't really offer a lot of support. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to put some horizontal stabilizers in here. For that, I think we're just gonna go back to our little piece of uh, discarded cardboard here. We're just gonna cut her into a few little pieces that are roughly the same size. And then for the stabilizers, we're gonna do it up here towards the top of the phone. So I'm just gonna put a little notch right there. We'll notch right on the other side, just like that. Okay, I've got two little marks. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna line up these little nubs right here, and I'm gonna see how thick they are. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say nub one is that long. Since they're not exact, I'm gonna use each one to measure. Nub two is that long. Now we're gonna go ahead and just cut some channels, just like we did earlier with a pen knife that is much better. I should have used this one from the beginning. Okay, two slits are cut. Go ahead and slide these bad boys in there. The two little nubbins hold it from flopping around. Look at that, it works. All right, so the nubbins look like they're pretty good depth. I'm gonna get them lined up with the phone. For this project, I literally used like over a stick of hot glue, which is way more than I needed, but I don't care. I want this thing to be like Hercules. The adamantium phone holder, if you will. All right, guys, here we have the final product. As you guys can see, I added a speaker port right here because there is a speaker on the back of the phone. And when I created that port, it allowed the sound to escape a lot better. And it actually sounds pretty decent. Uh, the cords in place, I also, just for people that might get confused, I went ahead and, uh, and, and you know, labeled some of the ports. Like that, that's the data port right there. And this, this up here, this is the stable thing. And uh, on the back here, you know, we say phones rule because they do. And you can see both sides are branded with jerry-rigged phone stand uh, because this is, this is patent pending, actually, just so you guys know. And uh, as you can see, uh, what? Anyways, I think it turned out good. I can take my LG G4 now and just plop her right down on there very, very easily. Surprisingly, I thought it was going to be hard to find the hole. Man, I am really holding back the innuendos today, guys. But, but uh, with the stabilizers on there, it actually makes it a whole lot easier. So you can get it in there, it locks in place. It's not gonna, if it, if it rocks back and forth, it's not gonna fall out. It's easy to navigate the screen and uh, do everything you need without risking the phone moving around. It actually turned out better than I thought it would. And best of all, I plugged it in and it works. Yeah, you see that little lightning bolt? Yeah, charging. So I have to admit guys, this was a really fun jerry-rigged. Taking the box that something was delivered in and turning it into an accessory for that thing that was delivered is actually pretty cool. All right guys, well that about sums it up. You can actually take a box that your cell phone came in and turn it into a functional desktop charging and sync station. I'd like to give a special thanks to The Void Sniper on Twitter. He was the one that posted a picture that inspired this entire episode of Jerry Rigged. And honestly, there are a million different ways that you guys can do this with the box. This was just the way that I came up with. And to be honest, it's a lot bulkier than it needs to be. But it was very easy to make and took little time. And for that, I. 
appreciate it. I also like the little things like the stabilizers that we put in there. And we just solved problems as we went along. And I actually really like that approach. And that's what Jerry Rig's all about. So if guys, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like down below. It really helps me on these videos. And also please leave a comment. I'd like to know if you guys liked the project. If you disliked the project, what you would have done differently. If what you have done differently, if you've done this project before, because obviously there's been some people out there that have done it. But I hope this inspires you to go and grab a box yourself, cut it to ribbons and create your own desktop charging station. Or who knows, maybe get a little bit more exotic and bust out some wooden Bondo and make something that's truly unique. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Jerry Rigged. Until next time. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot. Also come over to Twitter. I'm at Barnacles. I'm a real social guy. Also, if you have a couple of minutes, check out some of these many other videos. I made them myself.